Hello! So, we have landed at a campground in Microsoft Flight Simulator with the Fox 2 from Parallel 42. And looking around at the campsite, you can see there's a, a barbecue going on over at the hut over there. There's some tents around the aircraft that have already parked up. And you might think, wouldn't it be great if we could set up camp as well and make this a bit more realistic for one of our escapades in the simulator? And you can. So it turns out Orbex are selling a kit called the Bush Plane Campout Kit from Parallel 42. And it gives you a wonderful kit of bits and pieces to go and do exactly that. So within the simulator, once you have it installed, you get a little campground badge appears in the toolbar. And when you click on it, you get a silhouette of your aircraft appears and you can add things to the scenery around your aircraft and it's actually quite wonderful so if we get say oh we would like a bonfire please and so based on where we are seeing the airplane this is all live we can click there and we have our own bonfire now so if we wanted to move that maybe a bit further in front of the airplane maybe so there so we can see it easily so we've now got a little bonfire going on and we could say, OK, what about if we wanted a tent, maybe, then? We'll have our tent just over the other side, maybe, of where that is. Maybe a bit further back. And we'll we'll turn it to face the, the bonfire. Actually, it's in the smoke, isn't it? We can't see it at the moment. So let's just turn it to face the bonfire there. And we'll have our uh, maybe a sleeping bag that we're going to put on the ground in between the aeroplane and the bonfire and what, are, what else could we have maybe oh we have our, um, a tr our table with our drinks and stuff on it again maybe we'll put that a bit closer to the fire because we've we've been cooking using that and we might that might be turned around the other way so the handles don't get too hot <laughs> And you could just have endless fun with this. And obviously we can zoom in to see this in more detail of what we've set up. And it's just, it's ridiculous, isn't it? But it's brilliant at the same time. So obviously you can close back out of here. And then once you've done things, you can go and look around and you'll just then be surprised at the quality of the modelling of everything. That actually looks quite tasty, doesn't it? <laughs> It's just absolutely insane, isn't it? But that's not the end of it. As you would have seen briefly there in the... Um, in the toolkit. Let's just move the camera so we don't get completely smoked out. Right, there we go. That will do. So if we go and open the toolkit again we can go then and add some more so we'll put maybe a some ch firewood and put it in the other side of the fire maybe over there and we'll add maybe a chair for us to sit in and we'll we'll put the chair in between the firewood we oh we need to turn that chair around other way You can just play with this stuff all day long. It's absolutely brilliant. There's shoes, there's there's all kinds of things, but that's not the end of it. There's animals as well. <laughs> so we can have... We brought our pet dog with us, apparently. So let's go and have a German Shepherd, shall we? And we'll put him... He's going to be sitting in front of the fire because he's keeping an eye on the sausages, maybe. Or behind the... Behind the fire over there. So maybe we can put him the closer side so we can get a closer look at him. <laughs> the, the animations and the quality of it all is just absolutely stunning. So should we go and see, say hello to the dog? I think he's lost in the, watching the fire, isn't he? Oh no, he's giving us the creepiest stare ever.
What else can we have? We can actually put other aeroplanes in the scene. So we could have, just behind our tent, another aeroplane over here that's maybe facing us, of our friends that have come to camp with us. We could have... Oh, I don't know. There's just so much stuff. It's absolutely ridiculous. Oops, wrong button. There's a marquee. There's... It's just craziness. There's a windstock, even. So we could say way over there behind the other two. We'll go and put the windsock. And there you go. And it reacts to the wind. It's worth saying, actually, if you turn the weather on, this will all be affected by the wind in the simulator. So let's try that. So I'm going to set the ground speed of the wind. So you'll suddenly see, obviously, the smoke is going to one side now. And the tent and the chair and things. I don't think the chair will actually go tumbling off across the campsite. But you can see it's very cleverly done. So if we turn the wind around the other way. The smoke is now going across the campsite. Interestingly, look, it doesn't affect the smoke of the scenery, but it does affect this one. It's very, very clever. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed that. So that is the campout kit from Orbex. Or oh, Parallel 42, sorry. You can buy it through Orbex. And you can make the most wonderful screenshots with it. And go to town on making a little bit more of a bush trip. And it will work with any aeroplane. It doesn't just work with the, the Freedom Fox. You can use it with absolutely anything. So there you go. Isn't that cool? So just to have another look at it at Orbex Central, that's the Bush Plane Campout Kit from Parallel 42. It's 13 Australian dollars, that's seven pounds in English, just under nine dollars US. It's brilliant, it really is. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there, hopefully you enjoyed that. I'll see you again soon.